September 2, Wednesday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever And they interceded with him about her He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her She got up immediately and waited on them At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place, the crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord he laid his hands on each of them and cured them. Jesus' teachings accompanied by healing and exorcisms are evidences that the kingdom of God has arrived in person. The presence of Jesus has a twofold effect on the lives of people. He brings the good news that God visits his people and the evil one has been subdued. Jesus' power is concretely shown in the healing of Simon Peter's mother-in-law and of the other people sick with various diseases. By driving out demons, Jesus shows that his power is mightier than that of the evil one. Jesus commands the demon to keep silent regarding his identity. Jesus wants his listeners to believe that he is the Son of God, not through the words of the demon, but by their realization that the power of God is at work in him. In the early church, the laying on of hands to effect the ministry of healing is recorded by St. James. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church, and they should pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith will save the sick person and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven.